We are back with more of What's Now, focusing on safety. How are people across the state of Utah feeling about crime? What are they most concerned about? Well, a survey was just released recently, and Rebecca Edwards has all the data from that. Let's take a look. How safe do you feel in your state? Well, the SafeWise 2021 State of Safety survey on safety perceptions of all 50 states is out, and Rebecca Edwards, SafeWise security expert, is here to tell us all about the new findings. Thanks, Rebecca, for being here. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to dig into the data. So tell me more about what the SafeWise State of Safety report is. Well, SafeWise is a website where we provide tools and information to help people live a safer life at home and in their community. And part of that includes us watching crime trends and crime rates um, and to see how that impacts how safe or unsafe people feel. So the state of safety is actually a study where we talk to people and ask them that very question. Do you feel safe? Are you worried about crime? What are people most worried about right here in our state? Yeah, in Utah, package theft is the number one crime concern, and you're slightly more concerned than the national average because that is also the top crime concern across the country. So people are really worried about those porch pirates nabbing their goods after they're delivered. And are people's perceptions about safety usually aligned with real crime statistics? You know, typically they are not. Typically people tend to feel less safe than the crime statistics would indicate that they really are. But Utah is more on the nose. Only 36% of Utahns told us that they're highly concerned about their safety every single day. And on the other side of that, 66% said they think the Beehive State is a really safe place to call home. And the good news is that crime rates are below national averages in Utah. So Utah is getting it more correct than almost any other state. That is good news. How does violent crime, gun violence, and property crime figure into your report? Well, every year we've asked people how worried they are about violent crimes and property crimes because it's really easy to compare those fears to the actual crime stats. But people have been volunteering to us that they're worried about stuff like mass shootings. And so we've added a whole gun violence component to our report so we can track how that's impacting people's overall sense of safety and then also look at statistics to see if our level of increasing worry about that specific thing is warranted or not. And what keeps people up at night? What do they worry about? People are typically, what we've seen this year, the biggest thing that was the most surprising to me is people told us they're actually hearing um, gunshots. Like people say, I hear this outside in my neighborhood. Um, so that's something that was really startling. And so that kind of goes into why people are worried about gun violence. Other big things that are top of mind right now include civil unrest, politics, these bigger things that are happening out in the world that we have less control over. That's really impacting people's overall sense of safety and uh, their level of anxiety. And are there any tips you can give people to feel safer in their home? Yeah, I think any way that you can exercise control over a situation is going to give you that reassurance that makes you feel less scared. So lock your doors and windows. Everybody has the option to do that. You don't need to buy anything to make that happen. And it's surprising how many burglars will just walk in the front door. I also think it's important, you know, to limit how much doom scrolling we're doing. Um, if we're reading things that cause anxiety, we're going to be much more concerned and worried. And so I think taking those steps to do things that you can control are really important and be proactive. If you want to take it all the way, add a security camera or a security system. And where can we get more information? Yeah, people can go to safewise.com and download the entire state of safety report and can also find out um, what the safest cities in Utah are as well. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Rebecca Edwards, for this important information that will help keep us safe right here in our state. Thank you. Have a great day. That's it for What's Now. Thank you so much for joining us. We have taken a deep dive on many different topics on our episode today. And for more great content, be sure to stay tuned. I'm your host, Christine Napier. I'll see you next time.